the uh, United States Marine Corps, uh, you know, KBAR, uh, United States Marine Corps, uh, you know, fighting utility knife. And this knife is the first knife probably in my life that I bought for a single purpose, to stare at it. That's it. I just love the look of the basic K-Bar. Why would I just stare at it? Well, I got Binky here, and you can see that, that review there. Uh, this one is, let me just give you an idea. This is the prom queen, okay? This is her sister that nobody wants to date, but she puts out, I tell you, she really puts out. So, uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, that, that's, that's what a used K-Bar looks beside a never, I mean, just look at the handle differences. Well, so that's where, you, you know, you two can make your K-Bar pretty like this into this tried and true, you know? Um, the reason why I bought this again was just basically, uh, I like the look of it. I like the, uh, the feel that there's a handle that, you know, that compressed leather. Let's look at some of this detail here. If, if my camera will catch it, I'm going to watch where I am or else it doesn't focus right there. Look at that. And this is on real, low resolution, so hopefully it captures it. But just look at the color. At first, I thought it was wood. And then I started reading at the company, it's compressed leather. And you can see the the tang on it. The tang's on it. Some people say, oh, there's not enough tang on these things. Well, you never get enough tang in your life, but whatever. It's decent. Again, you can put these knives through a lot of hell. Uh, good edge on it. 1095. The reason why I went with this model, uh, with a 7.5 inch blade I think overall is like 11 and you might as well say a foot long it's just about 11 and something Rockwell hardness uh, 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 65 to 60 uh, sorry 55 to 58 uh, Rockwell hardness uh, 1095 steel again you can pretty much sharpen load a rock this is ideal for somebody who's gonna go on a long expedition uh, maybe military law enforcement whatever if you're going over to Iraq or Afghanistan this is the type of knife that will get you through the entire tour why it's a very low maintenance knife. Uh, oil it up, get some, I don't know, cooking oil or whatever, just dump it in it, the whole thing, and then just right there you go. That, that's it. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll help preserve it. You rub it in, you know, knife care. The, the, the coating on it, some people complain about the coating getting into their sharpening stones and stuff. Like that. I've never really had any trouble with that. Uh, it does wear off after a while. A little bit of a channel there. Uh, as a fighting knife, Again, I give it a 60-40, where it's 60% utility and 40% and fighting. Just because the, you know, but it is a fast fighting knife. I mean, this is one of the, there's my bear skull again. I mean, I mean I'd mean, i never want to get into a knife fight, ever, you know. And, uh, you know, but K-Bar, K-A-Bar, that's how it got the company got the name, Kill a Bar. It's a Russian trapper that killed a bear with a K-Bar knife. And he wrote and said, thanks for making such a good knife. I K-A-Bar with it. Well, I didn't kill that bear, it was already dead, but, um, yeah. And, uh, anyway, very, 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 very cool. Uh, can't recommend these things enough. The price is decent, 65 to 80 bucks, to, depending on the model, the type of handle. Uh, I've seen them up as high as 120 for the, the more upper-end ones. There's about 20 different models of the same knife, so, um, they're pretty cool. And we can see, you know, it's a decent-sized knife, you know, like, I mean, blade-wise, I mean, it's very, very, very nice. Uh, the tips are really good on these. You know, if you ever see the a video, I highly recommend if you want to see what these things can really take is the NOS 4 guy, uh, K Bar United States Marine Corps Destructive Test or whatever. I watched that and that sold me on this. Uh, this is an excellent, excellent knife. Um, yeah, I guess that's about all I can really cover on it. And it's not super heavy, but it's that grip I really like, you know. So, anyway, uh, rate, subscribe, and any questions, just, you know, ask. All right, got another K Bar for you here. This is the uh, United States Marine Corps, uh, you know, K-Bar, uh, United States Marine Corps, uh, you know, fighting utility knife. And this knife is the first knife probably in my life that I bought for a single purpose, to stare at it. That's it. I just love the look of the basic K-Bar. Why would I just stare at it? Well, I got Binky here, and you can see that, that review there. Uh, this one is, let me just give you an idea. This is the prom queen, okay?